Hey, we're back. Um, I just got this back up from upstairs. I hit it with a matte varnish, let it dry for a few hours. I've already started on the uh, pigment powders, and mostly I'm right now I'm using um, a Secret Weapon Miniatures Clay Brown, and then I have another brand. I'm not sure. It's a, a buy it in bulk. It's a uh, a uh, natural umber and an umber color. So those will be good for the uh, desert look of having it, per, you know, the dust and everything built on there. Um, starting to hit the wheels already. You can see that. Starting to get it in there and starting to get it there to the road wheels. Starting to build up. I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, basically take one brush with a little bit of alcohol and kind of feed it around the area where I want it. I got another brush. And this is going to be the clay brown. This is the lighter color. And then we're going to play with these colors back and forth. And kind of hit there in the alcohol. And I can... I have my uh, hair dryer here on camera. You see I hit there and this will dry real fast. Maybe not. As you can see right there, all the uh, that natural clay is starting to show up. You know, I'll fall into that groove. It's not gonna dry out. Let's see what we're to do. As you can see what we're trying to get the effect, and we're gonna build those over layer over layer. So it looks like there's a lot of caked on dust, and looks like it's been you know on the road for a long amount of time. And like areas like this, I really want to get in there is. On the, let's see if we can get in there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Okay, let's see. And uh, take our alcohol, excuse me. Take our alcohol brush. Because this is going to be really dirty. We already have the scratch marks. And let's get some of the. Uh, natural umber on there first. And then let's uh, get a little bit of the clay on top of that. Hopefully that's a good effect. Let's see how that, so we don't have any areas for the uh, alcohol to hide in. Then later we can go in and get some of the dust off and get back to that scratch metal look too. And we can take some pencil and run along the edges to give it some of the worn metal. So there you go. Nice and weathered and it's got all kinds of dirt ground onto it. So uh, I'm going to go through more of this. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm doing. You see this other side I did a little bit on there already. That's already got a little further along. But we're gonna do more layers. You see all the dust through here. And we got a little more to add in that area. So I can just do that real quick while we're on camera here. And just really saturate that wheel real quick. Because alcohol is 91%, so it dries quite quickly. And I love this uh, clay brown, it looks really dusty. Okay, then we'll let's see, hit that with the dryer. So uh, I'm going to do that for the next uh, few minutes or so, then I'll show you the results, and I'm probably going to do some stuff inside the. Uh, tank to I got some uh, artist pencils and like you have this uh, metal grate in the bottom we can probably get some uh, little metallics coming out of there Let's see if I can get another good camera so you can show some worn metal in there and some worn metal in the seat and the handles more uh, cause a lot of stuff um, when we hit it with the oil washes took down a lot of the metals it still looks pretty good like you see these areas where I had the uh, the um, granite or the um, heavy gray medium gray then we did a little metallic on the edges just to show worn metal and worn down paint. Um, it's turned out pretty good. I'm going to start flooding with some more uh, pigments right now, then we'll be back. 
uh, as usual, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, we're back. Uh, I am, uh, I think, pretty much done with the weathering. Um, show you the tools again. Got some weathering powders, mainly three colors. Uh, Secret Weapon Miniatures Clay. Another brand's uh, Natural Umber and Regular Umber. Right there. Um, I use a little tub of rubbing alcohol. And then I uh, saturate the area. And also afterwards, if I needed, I added a little more alcohol to it. This was my dipping brush. You can see how smashed and frayed it's getting from uh, the pigments. is getting smashed in the areas and smashing into the pigments themselves. Then if I got too much pigment in some area, I used this uh, more of a stiff brush. You can see that some of the powder came off of it. And I used this to clean the area. And also uh, for another tool for uh, weathering, I have a, this is a 6B brush. It's very soft graphite. And you can go into areas and um, uh, add like a dark metallic, like around some of the... Um, uh, turrets and areas where there's metal on metal contact and um, maybe little nicks and stuff on the um, uh, grab a claw and also like some of the teeth here I can I'm still can go in there and get some of these darkened up and look like they've been biting into you know that all the paint and dust is wearing off these because it's been running and I got this covered in dust I think I'm leaving it like that I like it like that probably a little more dust in this area but you see a little bit there's some pigment in there pigment all through all this area uh, took the pencil after I did uh, a couple layers of pigments in there and ran it there so it looks like you know the dust was worn off because their, their metal boots or whatever they were wearing wore this down the metal off the paint um, ran some little metal on the uh, exhaust pipes uh, I don't know if you've seen this yet I did the um, glyph on the side of this turret painted it kind of match the uh, black turrets that are on the uh, um, front of the ram and this turret up here I'm still not done with the weapons there's still is kind of a uh, dark gun, gun metal with a wash I think I'm gonna get more into those and I did this one differently this is like a lighter gun metal and I did the secret weapon armor wash I really like that dirty kind of look it gives to it you can see that on camera Let's see. right here so you see that um, I'm gonna start taking this down. What else do I want to show? Well, let's I'll show the RAM on this thing. So take the def roller off. It's all magnetized. If you've seen the other parts, this one I really like how this turned out because I made this look really like it's been. Oh, front of the truck is all weathered. Uh, even up on the on the here, I just put a light bit of dust because it'll just be collecting dust. Here's more of the caked on dirt uh, into the bottom of the grill and into the uh, tires, obviously. Look how the tires turned out, and they, uh, these are called road wheels. And also, I did a little bit of uh, the graphite around uh, the outside of the wheels because these be metal on metal contact. Depends on you know these are metal, or uh, I think in um, some tanks it's actually a hard rubber that uh, so there's not a lot of friction. But I just it doesn't really matter. I made, these look like metal. It doesn't look like there's a rubber casing or anything on these. And it's orky, so that's probably something that's grind so they have to repair it or loot something else so there goes the ram on there and it's all dusty and I uh, got dust all over the glyph so it gives a real good look and it's just dust everywhere because it's got coming off the road and whatever it runs into um, didn't get a lot of dust onto the outside of here I might do that with an airbrush later with some uh, light earth paint but I got it onto these um, little apron iron or ap metal aprons or armor aprons that go around uh, to protect the engine I believe because there's an engine back in here so you can see I did it on that side too got it all around the um, start taking this apart a little bit got all the tracks all the wheels even did the back of the uh, the battering ram I really like how the bottom of that turned out this is all gritty and dirty um, the crew compartment uh, I think I got it to a point that I like it nice orky and filthy I hope that's not coming in right you see all every corner's got some kind of I, I try to get in every corner some kind of dirt there's brown dirt I don't know if it's like <laughs> fecal matter smeared in there or uh, it looks like blood, blood and rust um, did some of the um, the lead into here because this is like a metal plate over an engine or a transmission I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be 
but there's some kind of mechanical part in there and I think that's what's protecting it. And also it went in here and did all where the boots would be running against this diamond plate. Uh, there'd be a lot of metal coming through and you can still even do it as we're speaking. And it kind of, you know, gives us a little more detail and more interest. Uh, took part of the paint off of the um, wheel on the hatch here and did a little of the um, markings there so they could be hands touching. Did all these all on the doors too. Did all the, uh, wore the paint off. So uh, that is it for right now. I don't want to keep you too long. That's over five minutes for this section. So um, thank you for joining me. And um, I'm going to do a little more detailing on this. We're going to get the crew in there. Then we got a done vehicle. we get those guns finished. Um, I do like how the, I call it the Luda Grava Claw because it looks like it's been stolen off a, a common, um, where I'm going a common uh, construction site. It's got that construction yellow and dirt and I did a lot of uh, the gray patching and we have this. I did a little bit of uh, dust on that. I don't know if I'll do any more to that. I kind of just like the way that claw looks. This just adds a little interest and uh, takes your eye to it. And um, that is it for right now. So we will see you in the next section. Um, thank you for uh, joining me and uh, like uh, if you've watched my other things on the gaming board, I have that one display piece that I'm doing for this, but it's a play piece. So I'll hopefully have a showcase with the uh, display board with the uh, communications, uh, abandoned communications tower and all that with this uh, blood axe uh, battle wagon. So we will see you in the next section. Uh, thanks for joining us.